Right, here we've got my uh, rail motor. Uh, hopefully you can see there it is. Uh, and I can take the lid off and inside you can see my rather sophisticated sound system. And Basically uh, there's a loudspeaker in a little wooden box that I've made from some pine veneer. Uh, then there's the guts from the MP3 player. Um, there you can see the SD card on which the sounds are stored. Uh, and then to trigger moving from one track to another, I've wired in a couple of leads from the forward and well, the next and the previous uh, buttons which would move from track or back to, to the previous track. Those go through an inverter. There's a couple of transistors and a couple of uh, resistors to invert the output from my Deltang RX61B receiver. Uh, I'm using pads 4 and 5 from the RX61B because they are triggered by the direction switch on my Deltang TX22. Now normally the pads give 3.5 volts output, which is fine if you want to switch on some lights or something like that. But I actually need naught volts to move from one track to another, and that's what the inverter does. It changes the 3.5 volts to naught volts. This is a voltage regulator which takes the 12 volts from the battery which is used to power the motor and it reduces it down to 5 volts, which is what is needed to power the MP3 player. So, um, I've also actually connected the interior lighting to the bind button, which is on channel 5. So, pad 7 provides a latching output from the bind button, channel 5. So, if I turn that on, you can see the LEDs come on here, press it again, and the LEDs go off on, off. Now turning the knob moves the rail bus forward or back. Now, obviously I can't go very far at the moment uh, but to get the sound um, as I say it's linked to the direction switch so if I move the direction switch down we get the first of the sounds. engine start and tick over. Now there's 20 minutes of tick over so I can leave it ticking over in the station as long as is necessary and then when I'm ready to move off I can move to the next track by flicking the switch on the transmitter. There we go, gear change And another gear change. And there we are. We're now at running speed. Um, when I'm approaching the station, I can move on to the next track. Now, I can leave it on tick over, I've got another 20 minutes there if I want to. Uh, if I then want to move off again, I just turn the direction switch the other way and it goes back to the previous track, which is the sound of the horn and moving up, accelerating through the gears. And then, coming to the next station, we slow down again. Come to a halt and go on to tick over. And then, if that's the final station, I then move to the last track.
which is the engine stop. It now cycles back round to the beginning again, it's now playing the 20 minutes of silence, and so I can go through the whole procedure all over again. Well, that's basically all there is to it.